Hi, this is Mark Delise, and I'm going to give you just a little snapshot picture of Pinranker, uh, version 2.5. And first of all, I'm just going to, I have it set to my taskbar on my PC. This is also good for Windows or Macintosh desktops. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you have a Mac or a Windows, it works on both. And when you first open up the Pinranker, it's going to ask you which Pinterest account you want to have. Now these are your Pinterest accounts. Um, I have two of them right now, so I'll just click on this one and I'll select that one. Uh, by the way, you can uh, switch between accounts and add more accounts. You notice how it just automatically logs me in. So it will automatically log you in to, to Pinterest. But here you can um, add new accounts. You can see here that you can add new accounts. You can delete it. Uh, now, obviously, you have to have a Pinterest account first, but then obviously you can link it to your Pinranker right here. Uh, also, you can uh, switch accounts. So, obviously, um, if you, if you're logged into one Pinterest account, you can switch it right here to another account, and that'll all be on autopilot. All right, for running different campaigns. Now, you'll see when you open up this window here, there's a number of different buttons on the right hand on the top. Uh, there's 13 of them, and I'll go through them. There's also some functions right here. Gather pins, create boards, gather users. Now you can see here that as I'm switching here, these buttons, um, you can move these windows up around here. As I'm looking at these buttons here, like gather pins, create boards, gather users, uh, an auto pinner. You can see that really changes down below. Uh, it's a, this is a repin for repinning, auto commenting, auto liking, and then auto follow and unfollow. All right. And so that is the functions there. But on top, you can see a number of different um, advanced functions here. Here's where you can add a little pop up window comes up and you can add comments. And these will randomly add the comments for auto commenting and it'll randomly uh, do this. Uh, go through this and you can add as many as you want. You can also upload from a text file or from a CSV file uh, pre-populated comments. You can have an upload function. From here you can also, uh, let's go to the next button here. You got your settings. Here I can delete uh, delete stuff. Uh, if I have a, a user list, I can delete a user list and so forth. Here is the uh, captcha settings. So if I click on this you click on that. You can see a window pops up, and that's your decaptcha settings right there. All right. Here is where you can um, a cool function where it says auto pinning with your own images. So this will take images, a folder from your hard drive, and it'll automat automatically upload it to Pinterest and pin it with your URL and everything. So if I click on this, you see a window pops up and I can select a directory from a hard drive right here and select, select which board I can put the URL is going to go to. I can also um, have Amazon affiliate links connected to these images that will be auto posted or put my own custom URL in there and then click the start button and put a description in there and hit start. And so it'll automatically upload images from your hard drive and pin them. And also, if I want to have Amazon links attached to those, I can do that. From here, um, this is your private proxy settings. It also has a private proxy. All right. So and also multi-multiple. Here is where you have a, a URL shortener. Now, obviously, this is for the Amazon module. Um, so it'll shorten your links for your Amazon affiliate links, make it really, really good, and do a redirect. And no, they do not, they are not able to detect the Amazon links and delete them. Um, <laughs> we've created a way for them, so that's undetectable. Um, here is, you have an Amazon settings. You put in your Amazon settings for your, uh, your key and your secret key and your affiliate ID. Here is where you have an Amazon Scraper product search. I open this up. This is a uh, Amazon Scraper. So, for example, it'll uh, if you it'll go with a Amazon UK or .com or .ca for right now, and you pick what category you want. So, if I click on .com and you click on what category you want and subcategory, new releases, 
or whatever you want or, or a keyword and hit start and it'll populate down here uh, a list of things and then uh, that's the scraper now here is where you, this is really cool right here here is where you can um, uh, the next one here is a, is is where you can pin Amazon products separately with their own product images here here in this function if you scrape a bunch of Amazon products uh, what you can do is you can grab images from when, when you go to pin see auto pinner when you go to pin you can grab the images from Flickr Google or YouTube they're not the they're not the Amazon product images right from Amazon well on this on this function here okay it says pin Amazon products separately with their own product images if I click on this here it'll actually grab the product images from Amazon as well uh, you can put in the keyword that you've that you've targeted and select which board and it'll actually grab the product image from those products and pin it to Pinterest with your affiliate ID very very cool uh, here is uh, just a couple other uh, settings here uh, you have the uh, help desk and you have training for the members area all right so those are the the main categories and it's robust also these functions are um, are background processing uh, you'll see how you, got, you have a front browser here you're able to see uh, the browser settings here uh, some of these functions are, are browser uh, front uh, and what I'm doing here in version 2.0 this is 2.5 in version 2.0, all these functions here for creating boards, gathering users, auto pinning, auto repinning, they're all background processing. That's where it's going. Background processing. So you can simply uh, set the campaign up to auto pin or auto comment. You can hit click start. You can minimize and it's all in the background and it's processing and uh, you can work on other tasks. Isn't that cool? So this is Mark Delise signing off on uh, on pin ranker uh, you, you can see here gather users um, you know I've you can do it by by pin by people by user ID and I've done for example one already on for example uh, Mary Smith or Ryan Dice you see that uh, or Mary Smith so I've gathered uh, I've gathered 13 or I've gathered three three thousand eight hundred sixty six of her of her Pinterest followers and so I can take all those people and I can um, click on follow and I can gather her her 3800 people that that are following her and I can target them and I can click on I can click on follow and, and it'll start following her list you see and then it'll follow me back so it's basically just uh, keyword targeting or personality targeting targeting and uh, creating boards and pinning and all kinds of neat stuff it'll do it all on autopilot and uh, it's really really cool and drives a lot of traffic to your Pinterest accounts and then from your Pinterest accounts to your websites uh, where you offer products for sale because people go to Pinterest to buy stuff they really do <laughs> believe it or not yes there's some looking around at cool images but there's also a lot of shoppers and uh, and uh, particularly a lot of women shoppers uh, believe it or not so it's very cool this is a, my Pinterest uh, PinRanker software is robust and I have a full-time coder just on this alone that uh, works on it every month and that's his only job is PinRanker uh, full-time for him where he, he upgrades it every month for our users and it keeps on getting better and better so this is Mark Delise signing off thank you